Well, you never know it by the standards that they have today in the church that those people who say they follow the Lord are called to sanctification. Have you ever met God? You ever met God? What about you? Hey, I've met God. Did you know that there is a God? It's not me. It's not any human being. God is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God. If you are a Christian or you practice another false teaching known as the Christian faith, you too have the opportunity to meet God. You can only meet God through his son, Jesus, called the Christ. That's what we call his name in English. Now, when he was here and walked the earth, and he did live here, he's God come down in a human body. That's not the spooky or Hollywood hokey. You know, God supernatural is holy, not hokey. And there was a man who here who lived... And his name is uh, Yeshua Hamashiach. I say yes because he's alive. He is the son of God. He's divine. Now, many people think that he is a created human being. That is false. The Christian teaching holds that he is a created human being as you and I are. Or as many, But no. Have you ever heard of anything like that? That the Christians think that Jesus Christ is a created human being. That's, that's a different box of rocks, isn't it? Hey, if you believe that Jesus Christ is a created human being, you got bats in your belfry. Jesus Christ is God. Bunch of fools. And then they, and then they believe in this nonsense called the rapture of the church. God never raptured or saved the disobedient people, and then they also believe in this trinity. So they, the Christians believe that for every good, you have to have a false. That's called dualism. That's another false teaching. So, you know, they have a, a holy, no such thing as a trinity. By the way, the Trinitarian doctrine is false. There's no such thing as a Father, Son, Holy Ghost. There's one God, one Father of all. He's God the Father. He's God the Son. He's God, we say the Holy Spirit, but we identify His Spirit through the name of Jesus Christ. When we call Jesus Christ, I call the name of the Father. I call the name of the Son. I call the name of the Holy Spirit. So if you've ever been baptized in some of these Christian brothel houses and they baptize you, they say, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, a Holy Spirit, it's correctly said Holy Spirit, but they don't give the name Jesus Christ, your baptism is incorrect, it's incomplete. You must go to someone who knows how to baptize you, who's been ordained by Father through Jesus Christ. Father is the only one that ordains priests. Jesus Christ is the only one that can ordain you to preach. No human can ordain anyone else to preach. No human can ordain anyone to be apostle. No human can ordain anyone to be a prophet or a, a evangelist or a pastor or a teacher. That's all done from the Godhead God. One God, one Father, not three. And so if you have been baptized in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit, but you have not, that they, but they did not give the name Jesus Christ, your baptism is incomplete. You got to go do it again. Those of you who have never even heard of such a thing, there is one who is the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus called the Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach, he is God, he's divine. Everyone who believes that Jesus Christ is a created human being, like Christian teachings and those teachings of Christianity, that is false doctrine. I'm not being disrespectful to you, I'm just saying that's the way it is. If you are one of the redeemed, or you have the potential to be one of the redeemed, you could be one of the redeemed that didn't know it. I didn't know that you could be redeemed. I thought, like everybody else thought, you had to come 
uh, to God and be a Christian. No, you can't be Christian. You can't be anything in order to. It's God who will talk to you first. Then you'll respond. The redeemed are waiting to hear from the Lord. Are you one of the redeemed? If you are one of the redeemed, don't try to be a Christian. You'll be living beneath your privilege. I'm here to let you know and encourage you as a disciple of Jesus Christ. Wait on the Lord. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Let the Lord speak to you. Don't give yourself over to Christianity. Don't give yourself over to be a Jehovah's Witness. Don't give yourself over to be a Christian. Don't give yourself over to be Islam. Don't give yourself over to be any man-made religion. Wait on God. Let him speak to your spirit. If he can trust you, he'll tell you about Jesus Christ. He trusted me. And now I know I'm one of the redeemed. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? We call the sanctification and the right sister and the right brother. See, the teaching of dualism, uh, as I alluded to earlier, has it that for every evil there must be a positive so you'll have people that'll say um, you can't serve God without having or they'll say uh, one where they say you have to take the bitter with the sweet see if you are a child of God Jesus Christ overcame the world so that you and I can be victorious through Jesus Christ we have the victory through Jesus Christ that's why we have weapons, the redeemed do, that are uh, mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Our weapons are not carnal. So you and I, as children of God, we shouldn't be faring as those who have no hope, like those who are just religious people who just go to church on Sunday or, or go to these uh, houses of ill repute and learn all these different false doctrines, which are just doctrines that devils teach. So dualism has it that for every evil, there must be a good. So they have a holy trinity and, a, and they have an unholy trinity. That's why you have the in the cartoons where you have the, the angel standing on one shoulder and the devil standing on another. That's dualism. That's false teaching. God said, let your yeas be yea and your nays be nay. For whatsoever if there's anything else that comes of evil. So dualism is a teaching that uh, is popular, but it's just, just as wrong as Christianity. Look, to the redeemed of the Lord, if you are a Christian or you consider yourself a Christian, I'm trying to help you understand whether or not you are the redeemed so you can come out of Christianity, you can cast those heresies out of you, and then receive the promise that God actually has for you. Shout glory. abstinence taught in the churches uh, you would think that the people of God who have the really uh, only message really is sexual abstinence you know for those of you who are interested in a mate you know God's order for sex is that a man should be married to one woman one woman, one woman to one man, one man to one woman, and understand this, the woman was made for the man, not man for the woman. And if the churches were training people to be disciples, instead of so-called spinhead preachers, then you would see 
God's manifestation sensually and sexually because we are sensual beings. Is that right? Okay, but we're also sexual beings. So which is the most important? Your sensuality controls your sexuality. And until the churches get into really understanding that it must be Jesus Christ's character operating upon me, not just in me. It's one thing for Jesus Christ to be in me. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Say amen or shout glory. Okay, but then I need that spirit operating upon me so that it will guide my hands. My hands won't look new, they'll be new. My feet won't look new, they'll be new. And the character of Jesus Christ gives us sovereignty and it gives us a work ethic, especially when it comes to sexual orientation, because as far as God is concerned, abstinence from sexual behavior is the only contraceptive that God has ordered. And then past that, marriage is between one man and one uh, woman, one man, one woman, and the family is the man and the wife, not the man and the wife and the children. And then a person must have the character of Jesus Christ, the character of Jesus, the character of Jesus Christ in order for me to get the victory over sexual behavior. Hey, I'm glad to say I'm a 61 years of age young virgin. Can you be a virgin in this day and age? Yes, you can. The Lord will help you be a virgin. If you want to be a virgin, if you lost your innocence, Jesus Christ will give it back to you. Father will give it back to you. The only way to come to Father is through his son, Jesus Christ. So, see, because only the Lord can restore all things. If any human being be in Jesus Christ, behold, okay, they are a new creation, not creature. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation, not creature. Behold, old things have passed away, and he says, all things have become new. That's provided I'm working in complete cooperation with Jesus Christ. Hey, until the churches realize that it must be the character of Jesus Christ, and then there's something to be said for delayed gratification. You can go to heaven without a lot of things, okay? But you can't go to heaven without Jesus Christ. Believe me, you and I both, we can do without sex. However, if we're going to do it, God has given us an order. So if we do it God's way, we'll get God's blessing. Isn't that right? To God be the glory of great things he's done.